Uh, I'm joined by a couple of guys from an unsigned band based in Dalgate Bay whose influences go from Blink-182, Arctic Monkeys, Palo Nutini, The Script, Foo Fighters. Uh, they were formed last year. They have a new EP out called The Classic Rumour just now. They've uh, just pe uh, performed at the Jam Jar a f a c not too long ago at the Punk Fest. And um, we're actually going to hear their, one of their tracks from the EP in just a little while. But I think we should say hello to Kyle and uh, Liam Chalmers, who are from Static Motion. So, guys, welcome to the Radio, Radio West Fife. Yeah, thank you. It's good to be here. <laughs> How you doing? Ah, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting out in the sun because uh, the summer's coming back, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know. I've had a really good week and everything, but... Uh... Oh, it's been raining recently, though. No, oh, so you're going away on holiday pretty soon. I'm yes. envious. Where, where, where are you going? A week today, we're going to Sunny Beach, Bulgaria. Bulgaria. So, oh, yeah, we're messing up our band. <laughs> we've actually been asked to play it now. Yeah, I know actually. <laughs> uh, the Bulgaria party crew asked us if we wanted to do a few, um, a few jamming sessions on the beach and that, and they said they could get a venue for us if we brought a few guitars and everything. So, are you actually going to do that, or can you not get that pass through customs? Uh, I don't know. Like, I think we just want to go to party, to be honest. But <laughs> I don't know if they bring up a guitar and ask us to play it. Then I mean, we can get a few free drinks. Out of it, you know what I mean, yeah. well, <laughs> well, anyone would do anything for free drinks. Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if any, if anyone was offering me a free pint, don't turn it down, guys. Yeah, it's so. all about that. So. What is Static Motion if we don't already know who, who you are? Static Motion? Well, it's me, Liam. We've got our other bassist who isn't here at the moment. That's Liam and Sandy, who's our most recent member. He's still a bit shy to the band, but um, nah, he's doing a it's good job, a, yeah, it's <laughs> isn't he? He's getting a lot better, fitting in a bit better now. But yeah, just based around Dunfermline, we're trying to get a few more gigs in other places in Scotland, like Glasgow and everything. I mean, our EP being released kind of helps us out quite a lot as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, we've done a lot of work with uh, Bower Music lately. Oh yeah. But he's been Mark's been really helping us out, getting us gigs and stuff. Yeah. And he's been really helping on the promotional side of things. Mm -hmm. Really starting to get out there a bit. And how have uh, you guys progressed? Uh, you've only just formed last year, so how are you guys getting on with uh, getting the gigs and getting yourselves out there? Good. We, we, I mean, we've just started getting more of them recently because when we first started off, it wasn't really all about the gigs. It was more all about like getting comfortable with the new band, writing our material. Yeah. Uh, we were, took a while out when we were recording all our material with uh, Valve Tone Productions. It took a while. We got all the artwork and the batches, but then we just started selling our stuff and getting them more out there, and that's where we started getting all more of our gigs, and it's just sort of kicking off the now, if you know what I mean. So basically you were selling yourselves until you got uh, pretty well known. Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, you, 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 you've been doing several gigs over the last few months, just getting yeah, yourselves yeah. out there and all that kind of stuff. Um, how was the punk fest at the Jam Jar? Yeah, it was, it was, it was really, really good. good, actually, yeah. We got a I chance mean, to play with some really good bands. I mean, uh, Miniature Dinosaurs, the band that was on last. They were that was really cool. impressive. They were from Stirling, a sort of more indie-type band from Stirling. We had the chance to play with them, and uh, they were really impressive. Like... Um, who else? There was a few more local bands playing alongside us. Like, uh, I think it was... It was quite a fun gig as well, wasn't yeah. it? Really, like I don't know. We had a good, good laugh on stage, and there was a, there was a good crowd when we were in. So it really helped us out, and we were kind of just having good fun with the crowd, and it made the gig a lot more enjoyable for everyone. Mm -hmm. And you got a very glowing review as well. I, uh, I've been hearing. <laughs> yes, yeah. we did. Uh, ah, I can't remember what it said. What well, was it again? Uh, it was from. Uh, Darren, Darren music. Music. Film music. Yeah. Yeah. music. Film music, yeah. Uh, well, they said that your stage presence was fantastic. You were yes. interacting the, with the crowd and just having a good time on stage, oh, yeah, which yeah. is what it's really all about, isn't it? It's not just about playing that the was, music. Yeah, because it was a punk fest and there was loads and loads of bands and stuff, we didn't want people to expect the same thing, just going on, playing your music and coming off. So no, we right. wanted to get a bit more of a better stage presence so people would remember us mm -hmm. and everything. So we went on and just had a good time, had fun with it, and I don't know, they seemed to enjoy it, according to the review, so that's good. Yeah. And uh, they said that it's, some, it's something that a lot of bands would be envious of. Now, I have to say, I, I agree with that <laughs> statement because you don't see many bands that actually have a banter with the audience. It's a sort of one-sided, uh, one-way thing when it comes yeah. to doing gigs. Well, uh, I don't know. I think that's like that's one of our main strengths, really, when it comes to our gigs. I mean, we can uh, get more, like, we feed off the energy of the crowd. Yeah. And obviously, if we can talk to the crowd and interact with them, I mean, if they're liking it, then it really helps us, mm -hmm. and it makes us play a lot better usually. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, knew, you you would you would either know if you if you were onto a really good gig, or that uh, it was a really rough crowd, and that you might have yeah. something thrown at you. So it's a it's a pretty good uh, judgment. 
Yeah, uh, exactly. I mean, we had one quite a while back uh, mm-hmm. um, downstairs from the Jan Jar and Sinkies. Oh yes, uh-huh. and people didn't seem that interested in the music. They just seemed more interested in just sitting there and just having a drink, talking to their friends and that. So it was hard to feed off the energy of people if they weren't moving. They mm-hmm. were just sitting down and everything. But uh, you know, we still managed to get through it, and it was good yeah. fun. <laughs> oh, fantastic! It, I think that's probably the only problem that um, performing in pubs and that it, it, it becomes yeah, a passive yeah. thing rather than you focus on the stage with maybe a pint in hand. Mm-hmm. Not that I'm encouraging it or anything like that, but uh, <laughs> um, but you know you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, it's it's all about getting the music out there, though. To be honest, I mean, the more people that listen to it, the better. We're trying to we're trying to bring in some kind of acoustic or like softer songs and stuff for when we're playing in pubs and that, just to yeah. make it easier listening. But that's kind of something we're looking to bring in in our new album that we're going to be writing shortly. Uh, you've got a new EP uh, out now, uh, the classic yes. rumor. Tell tell us more a bit about that. Uh, I don't know. That's it's just that started. That just started straight away. I mean, as soon as we formed the band, we just started writing the songs, and um, so uh, it turned out it was it was weird actually because it was the song, the last song we wrote, and we didn't think it was going to be the best song in the album, and it got recorded, and then when we brought all the songs out as a winner, people started liking the first song on the album which mm-hmm. was a classic uh, not the classic rumor uh, stay with you and we were really surprised because it didn't seem like one of our strongest songs but obviously the recording it seemed to really interest people mm-hmm. and they really liked it so i mean it's, it was surprising but yeah it had a really good turnout so it's crazy wasn't it i mean we wrote that and literally i think we must have wrote stay with you and three band practices yeah something like that. three band practices that's yeah, fairly yeah. quick for us a band. few hours and, and it wasn't that far before mm-hmm. we actually brought out it was just before we started recording the ep i mean we had three solid songs that we wanted to put on and we yeah. thought that we needed a fourth so I think we wrote that song in like three weeks or something it something just like turned out to be the one that everyone seemed to be liking I'm surprised yeah and give us an idea of what the, the recording process is like with that EP now I know it's uh, uh, many people would say it's 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 just playing a song you know it's just playing songs and then just putting them onto cds but just yeah, or, or downloads as it is now you can tell how old i am on that one but uh, <laughs> but um but nah. just tell just tell us how important and how electrifying the record recording the ep can be it's a, it's, i don't know it's a great experience to be honest yeah I mean, definitely it's, it's hard work but it's, it's really paid off i mean being in the studio is great fun there. Eh? Yeah, it was good. I mean, it all starts like yeah, everything has to get done in sections. You start off with the drum track, and you have to get everything perfect, and then moves on to the guitars, and it, it's all the recording process is all over roughly about a week. Yeah, I and think then we were in for like ten hours a day and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, got and tiring. It was, it was a bit tiring, but it was great fun. I mean, the guys that we're working with at uh, Valve Tone, they were really good, and like it was great fun to work with them. So yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Now we're going to end uh, just now. Well, first of all. You've got a couple of gigs coming up uh, after your uh, little trip to Bulgaria, <laughs> providing yeah. you get you sober up by then. So, uh, <laughs> so tell us about the uh, gigs at PJs and the uh, uh, the gala as well. Oh yeah, we've got a gig. Uh, what is it? The gala, the children's gala day up uh-huh. in Dunfermline, where they're setting up a stage up at the main gates, mm-hmm. and we're going to be headlining that, and that'll be playing along beside some of the smaller bands such as uh, Problematic. Um, I think Effortless. So bands like that mm-hmm. and that'll be kind of good because I mean it'll be just people it's free as well so yeah. it's just people walking past yeah. and they hear us it's and a great way to get our music out there yeah I think it'll be a fun one like because it's been ages since we've done a gig outdoors so yeah it's always good fun and, and we've got on the 3rd of July we're headlining a gig in PJ Malloy's yes and that's hopefully that's going to be quite a big one for us because that's going to be the first gig at PJ's that we've headlined mm-hmm. so it's going to be a good chance to get everyone up and get a good crowd together and hopefully have a really good night. Yeah, and I think that's playing with uh, Burn the Maps, which we're, we're good yeah, friends they're, with, actually. They're really they're uh-huh. really good. And a new band they're from Edinburgh, I think they're from, and they're We Are the Poseidon, I think. We Are the P- Poseidon? Poseidon. 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 Poseidon, that's Poseidon, the one. there you go. Poseidon, yeah. 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 That's the one. So that'll be of course you knew it. that, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, we've yes. heard a lot of good things about them. We can't yeah. wait to play with them, so hopefully... Be good. Fantastic! And tell us uh, how you can uh, how, how we can find out more about you and the EP, um, the classic rumor. Ah, well, most of our music actually we've got the whole EP is on YouTube at the moment. You can search us. It's um, 
YouTube, uh, YouTube.com slash static motion music. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, even if you just type in static motion, all our songs come up now. So. Yeah, that's true. Excellent. And Facebook as well, Facebook.com slash static motion. That's got a little bit of a EP and more about the um, events and stuff. Yeah, that's where uh, we do most got... of our organising events and stuff like that. That's where we do most of our yeah. information. Excellent, excellent. Now, we're running very tight for time here. We're going to play one of your tracks, Stay With You. Now, I want you to put this in one sentence now. It's no, I know it's going to be tricky here, but uh, in one sentence, tell us what Stay With You is all about. I can go, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it was written by our bassist about a breakup. <laughs> And Cheery subject. It's, all, all emotional, yeah. <laughs> it's emotional and it's strong, and it, you can still enjoy it though. It's good fun. Fantastic. So, <laughs> Kyle Fraser, Liam Chalmers, thanks very much for coming into Radio West yeah, Five. Thank you for having, for having us. us. And here's "Stay With You" uh, by Static Motion. And after that, we'll be speaking to Stuart Gray uh, at Knock Hill Racing Circuit to find out what's coming up in June at Knock Hill. This is Matthew Hansen on the Friday Night Lounge on Radio West Five dot org dot uk. Promise. 
fantastic. That was Stay With You by Static Motion, who we just had in the studio there. Thanks to Kyle and Liam for coming in uh, to chat about Static Motion. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash Static Motion and uh, YouTube.com forward slash Static Motion Music is where you can find out more about them and their upcoming gigs and their EP as well.